Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. It is Monday, the 7th of December. It's probably about half past 12 and I am outside the Ambassador and look, they have got all that plastic on and that framework up. So I've missed them putting the main thing up but we can watch what we're doing now. We can see a for a little bit. So this will be the plastic that protects the wall of the rutland. He's got the framework there in the back of his jig lift. And the end there, we pop over. Looks like they've got most of that little structure in the end down. In fact, a lot of it's been yanked down. It looked like it was all filled with soil, look, do you know how yesterday I said I thought it was solid? It looks like it was indeed solid. So I'm going to move round to the side because I want to get it so the sun isn't going to blaze into my eyes so I think if I move around the back the building will block out the sun and then I'll be able to get a better view yeah that is where I filmed yesterday and all that brick was still there and I remember saying it looks very solid and it indeed probably was solid because it looks like either an old wine cellar somebody suggested or just an old cellar. I thought it could have been an old bomb shelter, an old air raid shelter and a couple of people agreed and said that could have been the case. So I am just going to hang around here now and film that framework going on. So you can see those thin strips of green treated timber, whatever you call it, and that has built the framework around the wall and people did spot that. My partner actually spotted that as well on the way out, he said you see, because I'd finished filming yesterday and then he noticed the green strips and he was like, those are going to be put in a framework and they put some plastic around it and then probably cover it with the sheets of creepy timber. So that is indeed what's happening. So I bet the owner of the Rutland is happy. So that's plastic sheeting's going on there. So that's going to be very thick and sturdy. That's probably the sort of stuff they'll use. They use for gardens and stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's a kind of different thing for buildings. But mostly now it's all gone. I think in the next couple of days, or definitely by the end of the week, we're going to be done with this everybody. But I have been asked by quite a lot of people to stick this out till the very end. People have said they want to see what happens after the demolition is finished and they want to see the site all the way through to getting demolished, getting cleared up and getting flattened and then whatever happens next. Because 
because I will continue to film. I don't know what they'll be doing afterwards once the site's cleared, whether they'll be building straight away. I mean, at a guess, I would say they probably won't be because planning permission, surely you'd have to get the planning permission to build something. And I've no idea how all that legal, legal stuff works. There's still that bit of wall to be either taken down or they'll probably do that by hand because a lot of that stuff down there, if the camera would be kind enough to focus, a lot of that stuff down there and on the other side was done by hand. The bricks on that side going down there along that window frame, especially that bit, they definitely pulled them out by hand because they were in the cherry picker for a while and they had crowbars and they were crowbarring the bricks out and pulling them out one by one because obviously the adjoining wall is fairly delicate because as people have pointed out in the comments that was previously an indoor adjoining wall and now it is an outdoor wall, so it will need to be protected to protect the rutland next door. But all this is all cleared up. There's just one skip there, it's, unless the other skip's in front of it, possibly is. And just a few small piles of stuff there. But really, the majority now is gone, everybody. We've got the sheets of timber or MDF or whatever it is on the floor. That's to protect the ground from the machinery. Because they have that at Wilco's site, but it's different stuff, it's thicker. It's about five times as thick as that. He's putting something new on his grabby thing. So maybe they look like they're going to have a bit of a break now. I don't know, are they? The jig lift is going up again. Open, that's working again. Let's look from here. I think I'm going to walk right around the back again just so I can show you all the back bit because I want to see that end bit on the back. There is a van in the way but I think I'll be able to still show you everything. Oh the sun's right in my face. Down there. And go up past here. You're not going to be able to see much for this bit because one the sun's in my face and two the van's there but once I get past here and I can walk through the other side and turn my camera around. There we go. So I'm really just trying to look at that last bit of the structure on that side. And there. It does look like something that had been filled in. That bit. So, cellar, coal cellar, coal room, bomb shelter, there's a lot of earth around it. What do you think? 
Well, anyway, folks, I am going to close this video now. I will stick around and film another one because work is still going on. And I want to get a bit more on video for you all. But for now, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a like and a comment. And please subscribe. Help me reach that magic 5,000 subscribers by Christmas. And I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.